whoa, I was gone for a while. Sort of forgot what this place looked like. But tech news kept chugging along. And first up is some pretty sweet looking hardware. And that sweet looking hardware is the Honor Magic. It's now official. But first, the bad news. This phone is only slated to be sold in Huawei's home country of China. It will be available from several retailers, including Vmall, JD, Tmall, and Sunning. It's possible that Honor will bring the Magic to other markets, but there's no official statement on the matter. But the Honor Magic is supposed to feature some interesting AI elements. One of these standout features is the Wise screen, which combines a sensor in its frame and an infrared sensor in the front-facing camera. What exactly does this do? When the owner of the Honor Magic picks up the phone, the frame sensor and the camera are supposed to recognize the owner's hands and eyes, which then turns on the screen. When the phone is put down by the owner or put away in the pocket, the screen is supposed to turn off in one second. Another feature is called Face Code Intelligent Recognition. Any message notifications on your phone will only reveal themselves to pre-registered faces. That means you shouldn't have to worry about anyone picking up your phone and seeing messages they're not supposed to see. Now let's talk everyone's favorite topic, Google, specifically Google driverless cars. Google has just announced that it plans to spin off its self-driving car project into a standalone company called Waymo. The new company stands for, quote, a new way forward in mobility, according to John Krafzik, CEO of Waymo. This news corroborates early reports that Google would drop its plan to build vehicles with no steering wheels or pedals. The reports noted that Google would instead focus on the technology powering these cars that can be installed in third-party vehicles. God dang, Google, you're smart. That's smart. Waymo isn't completely ditching its dream to create a fully driverless vehicle without steering wheels and pedals, though. Craftsick said that back in October 2015, one of Google's fully driverless cars, without steering wheels or pedals, drove around in, quote, everyday traffic on the streets of Austin, Texas. While Google, now Waymo, has certainly accomplished a great deal in the self-driving car space, there's still a ton of work to be done. Dmitry Dolgoff, head of self-driving tech at Waymo, says the next steps are to build better maps, make rides smoother, and to improve navigation in harsh conditions like heavy rain and snow. Because if we've learned anything over the past 20 years is that the true power is in the software, not the hardware that can be commoditized over time. There's a reason Google is Google. Well, if you all thought that Pokemon Go was a big deal, Super Mario Run is set to be giant. Well, I gotta pay for that. On its first day of release, Super Mario Run raked in 5 million off 5 million installs, according to a new report from mobile app insights firm Sensor Tower. These figures put it ahead of even Pokemon Go in terms of first day performance, although it must be noted that Pokemon Go was only available in select regions at first, and that Super Mario Run has only seen an iOS release so far. Analysts have already predicted that Super Mario Run will see 50 million installs in its first month of release, which will only be on iOS devices due to Nintendo's exclusivity agreement with Apple. But when the game eventually lands on Android, the install rate will explode. Hey Android Army, Jace here. It's been a while since we've had these chats. I've been away for a while on vacation. I had to take a break from the great white north. I was in Bahamas and Florida and other hot places having a great time, but I am back now on the Android beat. If you wanna follow me and chat it up some more, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram right there.